Anything that has an agitator, it's physically hitting the clothing. It's just gonna be harsher on the clothing. Front load washing machines utilize gravity, so the clothing is rubbing against the clothing. And yes, they do still get clean that way, in fact. So if you think about a top load washing machine, <laughs> This one doesn't have an agitator inside of it, but if you think about a top load washing machine, gravity is constantly pulling the clothing down and you have an agitator in the center that's going like this and it has fins to try to like, you know, promote the clothing to come up, but gravity is always gonna kind of pull stuff down and it's not very efficient in the movement that it's making in cleaning the clothing versus a front load washing machine. Sorry, I had to unlock the door. So a front load washing machine, that is using, gravity is pulling everything down, but it's also tumbling everything. So it's, here, let me see, let me see. There. I can turn it from the back. So it's turning everything. But because it's turning everything and your clothing is tumbling this way, it is using gravity to help clean the clothing. So the friction of the clothing rubbing against the clothing and the detergent and the water going through it Yes, that is more than enough to clean your clothing. In fact, it will clean all of your clothing a lot more consistently than in a top loader that has gravity working against you the way that it's designed. So everybody wants to, to praise the old machines because they used more water, but the thing is, usually when they're having problems with this machine, it's just because they're not using it right, because they're using it as though it's one of these. And those are not the same design. Clearly, they have different cleaning actions, and because they're different designs, they're going to have different needs. That's just the way life is. <laughs> That's why I, I harp on people so much to make sure that you read your manual, make sure that you're following directions because when I worked as an appliance repair tech, so many people did not. I had so many customers that I would have to come out that I would have to educate them and that was, that was how the issue wound up being written up was customer education because it wasn't a problem with the machine. It was a problem with the customer not understanding how to use the machine, the detergent or loading it incorrectly or any crazy number of things like that. That was actually what inspired me to start doing appliance education in the manner that I do, was that experience, that specific experience of how many people didn't understand all of these things because who is it that teaches you how to do laundry? It's usually your parents. And how long ago was that? <laughs> Nobody else ever usually teaches you, but also who taught them? Usually their parents. So it's it's usually generational information, but the problem is technology is advancing past being able to teach it generationally like that. It's not a generational thing because technology is always changing. And here I am to fill in the gaps. <laughs>